the one thing with peel switching, I mean, we've all done on-air drills, we've all done on-air skill work at the rim. You can figure it out from time to time. The timing and the feel of peel switching, I don't think you can act, you cannot do this on all. It is just, yeah. Yeah. there's too much of a context required and too many details to do this on all in any form of repetition. Um, so it has to be yeah. gamed, I think. Yeah. And Paul, can we stay on this clip too? Sure. And uh, go back to the very beginning here, right to there. Yeah. So it's a good, because you can see sort of the gaps. Where, where the guys are in before the peel takes place. And my question is the player guarding the corner. Yeah. How, so like to me right now, it looks like he's about even with the offensive player position yeah. wise. Is that ideal or do you want him? I think we talked earlier about like maybe a step closer to the ball, more in the gap, or what did you teach about where he, his placement is? So then when he does get beaten peels, he's in a better position to close the gate. So one of the things that we, I thought we got better at, and I'll show a clip in a second, that we got better at in the summer, was understanding passing lanes in a peel switch scenario. And right now, as you said, and you rightly said, like, if Dan goes further here, right, that's a direct laser pass. We've, we've not yeah. cut off that passing lane alone. So our rule is we want to force rainbow passes. So that player should be just maybe a foot, foot and a half higher up. Okay. And building a stunned position, he would actually probably help by being up. So the offensive player is passing in is closed off. It put things in context. So we went from a 2v2 drill to a 3v3 drill doing this. Okay. I'll actually show the 2v2 in a second. We got a rare ends handed to us on back cuts in this <laughs> earlier in the practice. So right now, Callum is really dreading being back cut <laughs> So okay. earlier in the earlier in, in the practice, we were really too high up trying to close off the momentum space and that corner was just like cutting our channel the whole time. 